Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Sorcerer Dave, and you've seen these logos before. Why are we watching them? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another Oblivion Let's Play on this channel. New game. Let's go. There are no mods this time. The reason for that will become clear. Hello, intro cutscene. We've seen you a million times before as well. Sorry, Patrick Stewart, I love you, but... Yeah, I've seen this plenty of times before. Ladies and gentlemen, as I said, my name is Sorcerer Dave. I have previously done... Uh, three? Is it three Oblivion Let's Plays on this channel? Uh, one of them was completed, the other two weren't totally completed because I modded the game and broke it, uh, basically. But I've played this game three times already on this channel. And uh, I fancied playing it again, but I didn't fancy playing it the way I have done previously. The wonderful thing about these Elder Scrolls games is that, you know, there's many ways to play them. There's there's as many ways to play these games as there are to ways to skin a cat. Don't know where that... I'd love to know the origin, the, the origin of that phrase. It's, it's an interesting one, isn't it? But uh, anyway... Normally when I play these games, I play them sort of semi-seriously. I kind of role-play. I get into the mind and the headset of the, the mind, head, head and the mindset even of the character that I'm playing and sort of make a bit of a story of it and that sort of thing. And I've already played the game like that three times. A fourth time, actually, if you count the Twitch live stream series I did of it as well, which is on my Twitch archive channel here on YouTube. But uh, besides the point, really... Three slash four times I've done it like that. And I am bored of playing it like that. To put it bluntly, I'm bored of playing it like that. I want to play it a different way this time. And so... Ooh, ooh, let's go massive dorsal fins, yeah. And so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to... Let's interactively play The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. There we go. Welcome to Let's Interactively Play The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. What do I mean by that? I, ooh, a green patch on his nose, that's really weird. Uh, what do I mean by that? I mean, we're going to play Oblivion, and you, dear viewers, that's better, you, dear viewers, are going to determine what we actually do in this let's play this playthrough of the game it will be up to you you will leave your suggestions in the comments of this video and in the next one which will be uploaded probably about a week from now i, I i'm aiming to upload these every weekend I, I meant to put this video out this last weekend that just went past but i forgot so never mind uh but you're gonna leave suggestions in the comments for what you want us to do and then I will carry out your instructions. That is what will happen. Now, there are some guidelines for this. You need to suggest things that can be reasonably done within uh, the space of, 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 a, of an episode. So something that can be done in sort of like half an hour to an hour. That kind of thing, roughly on average, probably about 45 minutes, something like that. So don't suggest something silly like complete the Thieves Guild or something because like I can't do that in I can't do that in one episode of this Let's Play. I can't do it in one video, so don't suggest it. But you could suggest, for example, join the uh, the Thieves Guild. You could suggest that. Ooh, that's weird. You could suggest that. That would be a reasonable suggestion. Join the Thieves Guild. Or do a specific quest, or hopefully, really though, actually, you'll 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 suggest something a bit more creative. Like you can, it's a, it's up to you, dear folks at home, and I will select your comments at random to, to find out what we're doing in each episode every week. But uh, I, you, it could be anything from join the fighters guild to jump off of dive rock wearing nothing but your underpants and a fur helmet. Carrying the Wabberjack or something. I, I, is the Wabberjack even in this game? I'm not sure if it is. <laughs> but uh, 
That's that's the general idea. It's very similar to a series that my pal Variax did a very long time ago. He did a uh, he did a series called Interactive Morrowind, like a decade ago. In fact, actually, I think it's more than a decade ago now. Uh, I'll I'll even put a link to it in the description because it's quite fun. But the idea is we play we play this game. I'm doing this game because I'm I'm very familiar with this game after playing through it four times on here and plenty of times elsewhere. I don't know which version I prefer. I think I like that version more. Like that, yeah. This bright red spot on his nose. Uh, but the gist is generally the same. You suggest things, I do them. Our character will be called Random Tail. For he is an Argonian that has found himself stuck here in the Imperial Prison. And Random Tail. He hears voices in his head. Thank you, tutorial. Oh, it's going to be so annoying. I can't turn that off, can I? Random Tail hears voices in his head. And the voices tell him what to do. And you watching this at home, folks. You are the voices in his head. You will tell him what to do. This is all going to be a bit of an experiment. I don't know how long it will go for. How many videos we'll do this for. Probably until I'm satisfied. We've done about as much of the inane rubbish that we can. But... I think you get the gist at this point. I've explained this a few times now. So you leave suggestions in the comments of this video. No, you'll never get to swim again. I randomly select one, and that is what we end up doing in the subsequent episode. In this episode, I'm going to do nothing except complete the tutorial. I'm going to complete the tutorial. I'm going to get out of the Imperial City dungeon, and uh, that, that'll be it. When we exit the sewers, then that will be the end, and then you can leave your suggestions below, and... Next time, I will randomly select one, and what it, whichever one I randomly select will be the one, will be the one of many voices that Random Tail listens to and decides to do. My job right now is to get for the to next see. episode. What's this prisoner basically. doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. The usual mix up with the watch. I. Never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. He won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. For now, you, you are the voices I'm listening to. Aside. Nasty, nasty guard window. people. Stay out of the way and you won't Have a cup! This is my cup! Put, Good. Let's go. I give it as a gift to you. You? I've seen you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. Patrick Stewart talking to you through a cup. Ladies and gentlemen, only quality content on this channel. Assassins attack my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel. And you, too, shall serve her in your own way. Oh, a very strange way, trust me. Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. D Random Tail goes his own way, yes. So do we all. But what path can be avoided whose end is fixed by the almighty gods? Please, sire, we don't, must keep don't, moving. Don't, don't. I crown you emperor. Of the Better cups. not close this one. There's no yep, way to yep. open it from the other side. Right, Looks let me like through. Coming day. through, coming through. Take off my wristband things. Wrist irons, there we go. Man, we are one demonic looking lizard, aren't we? Oh, it got all the body textures right, too. Look, check it out. Cool. Nice. Right, anyway. Is there anything over here? I never bothered to check. There are no mods installed. There are no mods installed. You probably would have noticed by the god-awful user interface. I might, I might actually fix that. I might actually install the user interface mod, actually. have Now looking at it in all its ugly, ugly glory. But aside from that, there are no mods installed. At all, because I figure if you're watching this and you want to leave suggestions, we should probably be playing vanilla so that everybody is on the same page. Oh, yeah, check this out. Watch this. 
if you, I'm not pressing the jump button right now. If you just run up to this and you punch it, you sometimes float up to the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fatigue's low, whatever. I'm gonna punch you! Don't push me, prisoner. There we go. Where's where is she? There he is. There she is, Captain Renault. Sorry, R.I.P. Give me those. And where is your sword? She's dead. There it is. I'll have in that. Yes, yes, yes. You don't like me, do you? How could they be waiting for us here? That's okay. I don't think Random Tail likes you either. Actually, no. He seems pretty indifferent right now. He's just kind of blankly staring. They won't be the first to Whatever. The blades. He will only hate you if the voices tell him to, after all, I suppose. You stay here, prisoner. Don't try to follow us. Yeah, now the rats will come through down there. Brilliant. How about me? The difficulty is currently... Ooh. It's supposed to be set to half. I think that's about half, right? Yeah. It wasn't, but now it is. Uh, yeah, the difficulty is set to like regular zero, no plus or minus. I suppose I probably could set it to maximum just for giggles, but uh, I think all I'll really do is make the, the em enemies really damage spongy, but I don't know. Give me all of your things. Don't want that, don't need that. Take this. Now, we will at the end, by the end of this dungeon, end up picking a class and uh, skills and, and, and stuff and a star sign as well for uh, for our random tale here. I will do that. that. I will do that without the input of you folks watching at home, just for the sake of ease. Although I am going to need to pick... I suppose a custom class that has a wide variety of skills and stuff, just so that I stand a decent chance of being able to do roughly any suggestion you people give me. So I've, 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 right, okay, I've, I've just made a decision. I'm not going to use heavy armor because I think it's rubbish. I love those arrows, though. But heavy armor is not really rubbish. It just it makes you run slower. I don't like running slowly. I want to be able to go fast. I want to be a speedy lizard. Dead zombie. And I think we'll, prob we'll probably use blades because they're a bit more... I want to say widespread. Maybe that's not true though, actually. I'm thinking in terms of like unique weapons. And, and special weapons and stuff like that. But there's a fair few axes and uh, and hammers and stuff in the game, isn't there? So I don't know. I probably I'll probably just use blade out of force of habit though. Uh, to, to to be honest, I could I could pick blunt as well, but it would just be a waste of a skill slot. So I probably won't do that. Probably won't do that. Hello. Yeah. Plus, we're getting loads of blade skill increases already as it is, which is nice. Gold! Ooh, bag with useful things in it. I forgot this, this tutorial bit is actually a little longer than I remembered it being. Never mind! It's fine! Ooh, I should get these poisons and stuff might be ah. useful. I'll probably do alchemy. Because alchemy is just a bit of a no-brainer in this game. It's really powerful and good and stuff. So, yes to alchemy. Give me those. Give me those. You can hotkey items and spells. Yeah, I know, I know. Why, Bethesda, did you decide to make the tutorial information... A quest that appears in the journal so I can't turn it off. Why, you bastards, did you do this to me? Uh, there's a goblin up ahead. Fine, let's sneak. Because we can. Oh, yeah. Okay, he spied us. It's fine. 
I might have to take sneak as one of my skills. Because you guys might give me a suggestion that involves stealth somehow, in which case I'm going to need to be able to sneak. But I stress, the goofier and wackier the suggestions, the better. Like, there's not. I don't, don't have a problem with you telling me to do just go do X quest or go get X item. You know, that's fine. That's fine. And if it comes up, we'll do it. But the goofier, sillier suggestions will be the more fun ones. Gotcha. Is there anything up here? No, just a just a rib cage. You're dead, aren't you? Anyway, as I said as well, no mods as well, so don't no 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 worries there. It's totes vanilla for the sake of people knowing what's in the game and what they are able to suggest. Oh, you fools! Ordinarily, I play this game modded to buggery. Uh, just so that's clear. I would I would play this game modded to to death. Mod it until it crashes, as, as as the saying goes. That's how I would do that, and that's how I did it the last four times I played it. I haven't played like vanilla like this since probably I last played the. Whoa! Look at that spin. Uh, it's prob I probably haven't played it like this since since I played it on the Xbox 360. Like that's that's how long ago we're talking. So it'll be interesting from that perspective. But hey, you got anything? Rat meat. <laughs> Who's attacking me right now? Is it? I think. Oh, hello. Question answered. I love that this goblin shaman just hasn't noticed at all. I meant to do a power attack there, but it kind of didn't happen. There we go. Give me your stuff. Give me that staff. Give me a chest full of stuff. It's going to give me another tutorial pop up here, isn't it? Yep, because the repair hammer's in here. Yeah, go away. Right, there's one that's usually there, but he came around and attacked me already. So that's fine. Goblins dealt with. We're about to meet up with the Emperor and his pals again, aren't we, in a second? Very good. I should actually. You did. It did mention hotkeys. I should probably do that, shouldn't I? Spell icon. Yeah, bugger off. Don't care. Uh, right now, anyway. This can be one. This iron bow can be two. Let's equip the arrows. The staff can be three. Beautiful. Hello, everybody. It's me again. Demon lizard. Again. Oh, you've only just Kill noticed, it. have you? He might be working with the I just killed several assassins. Okay, I killed one, but no, he is not one of them. He can help us. He must help us. As you wish, sire. Come closer. I'd prefer not to have to shout. Does he? Does he keep following you around constantly? He does, doesn't he? He just keeps following you around constantly, going, "I right, come closer. I'd prefer not to have to shout." Please come with us. Fine. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. I don't know why you trust this How guy, Emperor Uriel. Listen. If you only you know knew what the plan for this playthrough was, chap. Our fates with an invisible hand. Uh, the voices. The voices guide and protect us. Yes, yes. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. Mark of the lunatic? Sign of the madman? Hmm. I haven't actually put much thought into this. I'm not sure which one to pick. Uh, warrior, tower, steed, shadow, serpent... 
Ritual, lover, lord, patronarch, thief, mage, lady, apprentice. Hmm. I don't know, actually. I genuinely am not sure. Shadow can always be useful if... Yeah, particularly if someone gives me a weird suggestion. Then that way I can I can turn invisible for 60 seconds once per day if I really have to. Uh, Steve would make us run a bit faster, which is always nice. The tower would let me unlock things, but this is vanilla, so I don't I won't have any issues unlocking stuff with just lockpicks. So that's that's a waste of time. Uh, the lover, bah, it's kind of well. No, paralyzing someone for 10 seconds is okay, I guess. Um, Lord, it's okay, I suppose. That'd give you, a, give us a decent healing spell thing. The Atronarch would probably be just mostly a pain in the ass. Thief, meh. The mage, meh. The lady, full power and endurance is okay, I guess. Uh, the ritual would give us a really, really good healing spell once per day. And let's turn it dead. I'm going to go with uh, the shadow. I think being able to turn invisible for a minute every day would the be useful. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. What about me? Your stars are not mine. Today the shadow shall hide you from destiny's cunning hounds. Can you see my fate? My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death, to face my apportioned fate, then fall. I go to my grave, a tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while, then we must part. Very good, Patrick. He does do a good voiceover, doesn't he? Ooh, hang on a minute, I didn't realize these guys had potions. You may as well make yourself useful. Here, carry this torch and stick close. Pro tip, everybody. Stick if you have a torch equipped, he doesn't say that. He says carry that torch and stick close and doesn't give you one. So if you want a free torch, make sure you put yours away before he talks to you. Not that you really need a free torch, but hey. Chest. Give me stuff. Brilliant. Let me... All right, let me just... There, there we go. Hello, assassins. Hello. Okay, I'm getting slightly wrecked right now. Boris is singing. Not much farther. Need to spam healing. Oh, hello. Thank you. These guys do have potions. I never bothered to loot them before. Never bothered to loot them before. I didn't know they had potions. There's me sitting there saying, Oh, I think I know this game quite well, actually. Didn't even know the Mythic Lord Assassins had potions. Oh, um, they're going to kill me. Please don't kill me. I haven't quick saved or anything. It's fine. We're good. We're fine. Everything's fine here. How are you? Right. Maybe I should have picked one that gives me more magicka. Because I can't even heal myself very much with this this crappy spell. Oh well. Hold up. I don't like this. Let me take a look. It's okay, I will go check first. It is fine. 
Hello. I check for you. Looks clear. Come on. We're almost it's a trap. It's barred from that side. We have to go this way. You can't close this, can you? A trap. Yes. Let's go. Hmm. I was just wondering if there was a way to jump over this, but I guess not. They cunningly put some bars there so I couldn't. That's the way you go through if you're doing the Dark Brotherhood, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. What's your call, sir? They're behind us. Wait here, sire. Wait here with the Emperor. Oh boy. I should heal myself because I know what's coming. For the Ooh, that's weird. I can go no further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. Take the Amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws. Of oblivion. Not unless the viewers tell me to. I want to get. The, uh, I wanted to get the kill, Boris. You stole my kill. How? Why would you do that to me? We failed. I failed. The blades are sworn to protect the emperor. Now he and all his heirs are. Dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't. Oh, I forgot to drop my sword before I talked to him. Crap. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. For some reason. They say Don't know the why. Dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? Uh, he wanted me to sell it for a lifetime supply of sweet rolls. Joffrey, he said that? Why? Because he really liked sweet rolls. Nothing I ever heard about, but Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City, or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. The sewers? There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced pilgrim. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, I don't think so. Unless he is right, in which case, fair enough. Let's see, security, block, armorer, blunt, my armor, mercantile, speech crap. <laughs> nah. Nah, nah. All right, let's see. Let's see. What do we want to pick here? Specialization. Specialized skills get t plus 10 and increase faster. Well, let's go with combat let's go with luck it's not but do you know luck is not a bad one to choose because it is the most difficult to increase in the game of all the of all the big attributes so picking luck as a starting one isn't actually a terrible idea because that's the equivalent of five level ups of picking of picking luck basically every time because you can't get a multiplier on it because there are no no skills that governs, you see. <laughs> uh, luck. Luck. You don't give for giggles. I'm going to pick luck. Why not? Uh, what, what do we want for the other one? Endurance. Speed. Agility. Willpower. Intelligence. Strength. Let's go with speed. Just because I want to be able to run faster. Seven major skills. You will start at 25. Apprentice level in each one. I, it should, should actually be pointed out too. Like it, having good speed would be good because I'm only going to get a horse if the chat tells me to. The chat, the comments, whatever. You know, 
voices in my head. If and that only only I'm only gonna gonna end up getting a horse if you people tell me to. So yeah, being able to run fast might be a good idea. All right, here's the important bit. Here's the important bit. So skills. Sneak. We already said we want that. Uh, security. We, we can get by without that, I think. So forget that. Uh, blade. Yes. Alchemy. I don't necessarily have to pick that as a major skill. It would help me level up faster. But it's quite easy to level up alchemy in this game. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Marksman. So we can use bows. What else? Illusion. So I can see in the dark while sneaking if I need to. And charm people. Being able to charm people would be very useful. Circumnavigate having to use the stupid persuasion minigame. Uh, conjuration's a bit there in this game. Uh, do, 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 do. Can you can you command people to do stuff in this game? I don't think you can, can you? That's a Morrowind thing, isn't it? Uh, light armor. Yes, yes, light armor. What have we got so far? One, two, three, four, five. Three more to pick. Mysticism. Eh. Uh, destruction? Maybe. Athletic. I'm going to pick athletics. It's happening. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Athletics, yes. And restoration, maybe, so I can heal myself. Well, then I could just make healing potions, so, yeah. Do I want destruction? Or alteration, maybe. Because then I can do shield spells. You can do shield potions, though, pretty easily, so. Uh, being on a water walk and stuff might be alright, but. <laughs> Illusion, light armor, marksman, sneak, athletics, blade. Let's have... Oh, you know what? Conjuration just for giggles. Just for giggles. Conjuration. There you go. It's probably not the best spread of skills I could maybe ever select, but whatever. Whatever! That's fine. It's fine. We'll have that. It's fine. Uh, adventurer, fine, whatever, yes. Done, yes. Really? I would never have guessed. Still, I don't think you'll have any trouble with rats and goblins. You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? Only if your suggestion comes up, Boris. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. No, it wasn't. I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. By the way, thanks no! for recovering Captain Renault's sword. I'll see that it is given a place of honor in the halls of the Blades. I wanted to keep that. Oh, I wanted to try and keep it anyway. I don't suppose... No, you, you haven't dropped your sword anywhere, have you? Oh, God. Here comes all the DLC. Yeah, I have all the DLC enabled, including all of the player home things. So I'm, we're just going to get spammed with DLC messages now. I don't think these guys have anything, do they? No, because these are the ones that can endlessly spawn. No, I wanted to keep Renault's sword. <laughs> oh, well. Leave the Emperor in peace. What if I don't want to? Leave the Emperor. Peace! I'm out of here. Random Tail has more important things to do. 
find out how it opens. Right. Just the sewery bit, and then onwards to freedom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lay ruins, razor, etc., etc. I need to do that if I get the suggestion, as with everything else. Let's use the bow for a bit, just for fun. I haven't used a marksman character for ages. Yes, yes, Battlehorn Castle, go away. Pew. Ooh, is that a, that's a regular leather shield, isn't it? Instead of my rough leather shield. Doesn't seem to be any real difference, but whatever. I will have the good quality one, thank you very much. Oh, foul rats in a foul sewer. This is how we know we are playing a Western RPG. You know what, actually, forget that. RPG in general, I've played plenty of JRPGs with, with sewers and rats. At last, freedom. I just saw that pop in there, and I'm just thinking, no, 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 all the graphics and stuff are set to max, very good, all right. Freedom! Edit race, birth sign class, finished exit sewers. Tempted to ed edit class, but no. Let's just go. I can't remember what like the, the skill bonuses you get as an Argonian are, actually. So I have no idea if I've built a very efficient character or not. Probably not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dwarven orrery thing. Uh tutorial finally go away, thank you. Right. Ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, we're out of the sewers, look at the glorious view. It's still very nice, isn't it? Even all these years later, it still looks rather good when you pop out of these sewers for the first time and then boom, mountains, all sorts of stuff. And then this ruin over here. But normally, normally I'd probably go run over there and ex explore that ruin immediately. Kill all the bandits, etc. and do whatever. But no, not this time, because this time I'm going to stand in this boat. Yes, I'm going to stand in this boat because this time I will do only what the comments tell me to do. It is the truth. Starting from now, basically. So, uh, hey man, I just realized, like, it wasn't a conscious decision, but his, like, skin scale color, whatever, it looks a lot like the older... Uh, the Alpha Raptor from, from Trespasser. Funny coincidence that. Anyway, so uh, yeah, they, they, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for now. That's it for this first episode. Leave your suggestions below in the comments for what Random Tales should do next. As I said, general guidelines are the sillier the better. And... Uh, and the, 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 the most, just, just try and, try and, try and suggest something that might be a real giggle to watch. There's something really out, outside the box and strange would be preferable. But if you just want me to do the main quest or something like that, you can suggest that too. No judgment here, really. Uh, I'm perfectly happy to do a, a fairly mundane request as much as I am happy to do a silly request. It's up entirely to you. I will select one randomly. And as I said, the general guideline is suggest something that can be done in the space of one video so like between half an hour to an hour maybe if it's a slightly over an hour because i'll do I'll, I'll try and keep it to like one video per suggestion if you know what i mean so uh, yeah so 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 try and make it achievable bearing in mind as well we're a level one character so don't like i mean i know this is vanilla oblivion so that we probably won't run into any monsters and stuff that are just you know, completely indestructible and will murder death kill me immediately, but even so, don't tr don't tell me to do something like kill every guard in the Imperial City, because at level one I can't do that. <laughs> I can't actually do that. It's, it's impossible. So, there you go. Think, think sensibly. If, because if you, ultimately, if you suggest something I can't do, I'll just skip it and roll the dice again and we'll get a different suggestion. So you'd only be wasting your own your own suggestion there if you, if you did something like that, ultimately. Because yours could come up. 
you could have that one in one in fifty, one in a hundred chance of yours coming up. And if you suggested something that I can't do, then then that that's that's your lucky dice roll gone, just forever out the window. There you go. So there's your lottery win, just you know, thrown in the bin. So apply some thought. But uh, aside from that, aside from that, suggest whatever the heck you like, and we will do it. Yes, we will. With our level one adventurer, Argonian, born under the sign of the shadow, called Random Ta I did spell that correctly, didn't I? Yeah, I did, thank God. With his 60 health and 80 magicka and 150 fatigue and is a member of no factions and has 14 novice skills and 7 apprentice skills and 7 skill increases. And has killed 27 creatures already. And one person. I, I could have sworn I killed two Mythic Dawn guys. But okay fine. Whatever you say game. Days of Vampire Zero. We could, we, could, we could be a vampire. But whether or not we become a vampire. Is entirely up to you. We just don't know. Alright folks. That's enough for me. I'll see you again next week. Hopefully these videos I'll be uploading I'll be uploading one per week every every hopefully Sunday is my plan one every Sunday. But let's aim for one every weekend. Yeah, I'm not good at schedules. So yeah, we'll aim for one every weekend but hopefully Sunday. Uh and yeah, leave your suggestion below. It may get selected next time, we shall see. But until then everybody, have fun. Stay safe and all that stuff. And I'll see you next time. Do loop.